Good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Carlos Ren, uh, and thank you for being here, to stay here uh, today. And also, uh, I want to tell you, I'm just, I'm not going to keep you all the way through the end. Just 15 minutes. <laughs> uh, so my topic, or what, what I'm going to talk about today, is basically sustainable agriculture and the relationship between knowledge and attitude among university students. And uh, between the people who have worked with me, it is Dr. Bernardo Trecos, Dr. Amy Warren, on Pizar, and Pablo Lamy as well. So I appreciate it to all of them. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> you want me to do it or do you oh, want I, to? Sorry, I got distracted by no problem. our school. So, as we all know, and we can talk all day long about population growth, and I don't want to keep you bored with all the history and all the introduction about what we already know, and people, more population is growing and growing so on, and we need to uh, keep uh, thinking of solutions, and agriculture has come with several of them, producing more, uh, producing better, uh, not only the yields, the quality, and all of that things, and, but also, we've known, and it's, uh, it's been researched so far and enough that also, unfortunately, agriculture has some negative impacts, not only in the environment, but in social aspects and uh, others out of the way. And this productivity increase and the environmental pollution has this adverse impact that has been measured worldwide. So, we came up with this pretty interesting word called sustainability, which I'm pretty sure most of you, or if not all, have heard about. Sustainability is it's interesting because it's kind of the solution. Everyone says, okay, uh, it's on everyone's agenda nowadays. Sustainability, sustainable agriculture is something we have to put in our curriculum, in our uh, presentations, everywhere. But what does actually sustainability mean? And this is confusing because there's no common consensus among researchers, academia, and other uh, stakeholders to say, okay, this is sustainability or this is sustainable agriculture. And that is a big challenge because to, if you ask different people, they all will give you different definitions of this such important and interesting word. So in this case, Sustainability is going to, or for the purpose of this research, we use sustainability as a process that integrates biological and ecological processes in food production, as well as minimizing the use of non renewable inputs, productive use of farmers' knowledge, and productive use of people's collective capacities. All right? That's sustainability and the large scope. However, we uh, decided, so, there are so many definitions. We need to take some criteria because we cannot be assessing something we don't commonly know. So within the sustainable culture scope, we chose environmental, social, economical aspects, which are the most common ones, but also include resilience and persistence over time. Resilience stands for the buffer capacity of a system to uh, after uh, adverse impacts or disturbances, while persistent is basically a stay throughout time. And sustainable agricultural practices include not having adverse impacts over the environment, uh, accessible and effective, uh, to be as accessible and effective for the farmer, improve food production and yields, and positive effects on the environmental goods and services. So now we know a little bit of not much more, but kind of common grounds among the sustainable agriculture research that has been done so far. And then we come with, okay, so what do we want to measure about sustainable agriculture? And there are a lot of things we can measure, and you know as social researchers, we can include uh, many social or psychological constructs, and we decided to choose attitude and knowledge because uh, it's been researched that attitude and knowledge can influence uh, farmers' decision making and other uh, stakeholders' uh, processes of thought. And it is really important actually to 
measure this in order to see in the future what things can be done. But uh, as many research has been done through sustainable agriculture, most of them uh, uh, has been uh, assessing farmers uh, or people involved in the in the fields, not necessarily uh, students. And it is important because okay, we are supposed to be getting educated, and education is important to make the future generations. Uh, more thoughtful and more knowledgeable, or maybe improve their attitudes towards a certain topic or area. So in this place, uh, we wanted to see what happened with university students and how can we improve their added knowledge of sustainable agriculture. So the purpose of this uh, of this research was to compare agricultural based university students' sustainable agricultural attitudes and knowledge and determine if there is a relationship between both. Because uh, we think, and research has been said that, OK, there's a relationship. But how important is it, and how close related that is, in this case, of sustainable agriculture? So for that, we have three main objectives, which is to analyze students' attitudes and towards sustainable agriculture and its association with gender. Second, to evaluate the students' knowledge of sustainable agriculture and its relationship with perceived knowledge. And third, to determine the relationship between knowledge of an attitude towards sustainable agriculture. So, we did a quantitative, non-experimental, and correlational design with 374 students of from 21 different countries look, that study in an university, which allows us not to uh, Escalate the result or generalize to the whole Latin America region, but at least have a, a little overview of what can be shown. So, as part of the research, we designed an instructor questionnaire, a survey based on two sections. The first one will be added to with 15 statements with like types, five point scale, and knowledge 15 multiple choice questions. The other distribution was online. Uh, for the, the sampling was a non-probabilistic, we, we used the Yamanex formula to uh, calculate the sample size and the alpha coefficient to measure just the uh, attitude and the 5 point micro type scale and if it was reliable. Uh, different analysis uh, that I will be talking through. Uh, first, the demographic characteristics. Uh, well, the sample size was 374. The gender, 54% uh, males from 16 different nationalities, uh, with being the majority from Honduras, Ecuador, and Guatemala. And the average age was 20 years old for uh, undergrads and 29 for postgraduate, which include master's students. And the, even though the sample was non probabilistic uh, and uh, convenient, we uh, compared with the, the whole university uh, criteria and the characteristics, and it seemed like it real close to the actual population. So what did we found? Like it's it's hard to put a whole different area as uh, or a very important and big area of uh, a research which is sustainable agriculture into just 15 statements. So we categorized into the five different sections and uh, they, they told us basically that they agree with field workers welfare, they agree with crop rotation benefits and uh, agricultural production diversification is good for crops management. However, they disagree, not a lot, but almost 13%. Uh, a sustainable production should have lower risk to the impact of natural phenomena, and that the crop profitability should not be considered only subsistent agriculture. So, a little of background here: many people uh, on the other side of the production area, and uh, basically ecology, uh, tend to think that it's not only it's better subsistence than the profitability, which kind of represents this. And most of them are, were also uncertain on these statement, as well as more agrochemicals should be used to increase farms' productivity. 
and that chemical fertilizers are more efficient than natural fertilizers. So this uncertainty tells us that, well, they don't know if they want to agree or not with that, but that it is important. The results, uh, uh, we later on uh, separating the three different levels, having high, 72% high uh, attitude. Then we do a uh, crystal ballis to see if there was a difference among genders, which was surprisingly uh, no difference. And many research in sustainable agriculture and other ecological aspects shows that women tend to have a, a better uh, or a higher attitude towards these kind of topics. Regarding knowledge, human well-being goes beyond economic income, income and environmental sustainable crop requires the production of what the environment can handle without negative impacts, and so quality deployment would affect their capacity of future food production. However, they don't know that resilience is the system's capacity to buffer impacts and disturbances, and that uh, an econ economically sustainable crop is a profitable business. So a lot of people actually have heard about sustainability and know the ecological and social aspects, but not many of them realize how economics play a big, uh, important role within sustainable agriculture. Then 62% have a mother knowledge. Then we have the, a simple linear regression, which shows us basically that. We also asked them, like, how much, we assess how much they know, they knew, but also we asked them, how much do you think you know? And this is really interesting because many research has been done on how much do you think you know or your perceived knowledge, which is not actually uh, useful in case of sustainable agriculture because we sh it's shown that it's not representative and that uh, it's inappropriate to say what you think you know it's not, doesn't actually replicate what you actually know. Uh, uh, then by a G-square test, we find out that students with moderate uh, knowledge of sustainable culture tend to have a higher attitude. And this, after a experiment correlation test, we find out that uh, it's a positive but low relationship uh, between attitude and knowledge. As a conclusion, we can say that participants' level of attitude was high regardless of the gender, the level of knowledge was medium, and it's not an accurate predictor of perceived knowledge. And that the relationship between attitude towards and knowledge of sustainable agriculture is positive but low. As a kind of recommendations, is always improve university uh, students' attitude and knowledge. How do we or what do we improve there? For, uh, Putting this topic of sustainable agriculture as a cross cutting component in our cultural education, as well as include topics as profitability, risk management, and resilience in the curriculum. Other factors could, that research about other factors that could influence uh, sustainable agriculture, which include teachers, environmental behavior, educational approaches, etc., and so on and so forth. And the educational importance and implications is actually empty because, to be honest, uh, I can see how impactful our research was and how much I learned through my research. But it's more important to me to see how much do people outside the research think it is useful not only for my line of research, but for everyone in, the, in academia and perhaps hands-on learning. Thank you. So they have been told about the, a lot of good things, 
So their attitude is better, but not necessarily the accurate point of view of the knowledge part. Yes, please. I did a very similar study for my undergraduate research, and I was just curious, did you, in your methodology, find any difference of students that had exposure to sustainable development, like sustainable agriculture prior? Did they have more favorable attitudes? Is that something that you asked during your methodology, if they had prior exposure to that? We actually didn't uh, ask them about their, their treatment exposure, but we did ask them about uh, how do you think sustainable, sustainable agriculture is is tall or any other comments about the sustainable agriculture you have. And there's what's impressive, how many people commented on how important it is. Perhaps it should be more uh, introduced and talked about in classes. But that's all. And then I had one more question. Yes. Did you find any disparity between ag versus non-ag students? So uh, there was uh, different departments in this university, and we had a certain for each one of them. Uh, there was, uh, their two uh, first years all kind of received their an, a common ag program and then they have a kind of major level specialization uh, for the next uh, senior, junior and senior years. So all are kind of involved in agriculture, but the ones for uh, environmental sciences have a little bit more higher attitude in, in towards sustainable agriculture in this case. So one of your recommendations was for cross-cutting education about sustainable agriculture. Do you have suggestions on how they go about doing that? Yes. And um, well, uh, as I kept reading and researching and reading more and reading more, as I do it sometimes, I figured out that uh, sustainable agriculture is such a, such a broad topic. That's not a single individual person to work in it, but more than getting people involved from different areas, which is kind of difficult because we all have our kind of agendas and research uh, interests, but also working together can help us uh, find solutions, in this case, for uh, a big uh, problem and perhaps uh, saying something that could be helped not only uh, students, but farmers worldwide and agriculture as a whole system. Other questions for both? Well, awesome. Another